Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some more dolls out of my doll collection. These are some more of my troll dolls that I have left. I uh, gave away quite a few of my troll dolls. I had a huge collection of troll dolls actually. And um, these are some of the few that I had saved for my collection. Um, two of them being vintage. Um, actually, uh, most of these are becoming vintage really quickly, but uh, two of them are um, originally from the 60s. And um, I'm just going to share with you guys, um, this little one in the front is a Norfin Troll, um, sold in a store. I can't remember uh, if I got this one as a gift or if I actually purchased it, but um, the markings uh, on most troll, troll dolls um, will be on the foot or on the middle of the back. And uh, this one is marked on the foot. And if you guys can see that, damn 1986. So this one was made in 1986. And um, it does still have its little hang tag here. And then uh, just some information on the inside. Uh, I had purchased it, I think I purchased it, I can't remember, maybe it could have been a gift, but uh, from a store named Scoops, and uh, that was a candy store that had uh, lots of candies and also um, some little um, oh, memento toys, and so uh, he was sold in that store. Very cute little clown troll. Um, these next two that I will share with you, these definitely are the vintage troll dolls from the 60s. Uh, they do look a little bit rough. <laughs> I had gotten, um, I had gotten them from an antique store and, um, it was actually a vendor that was, uh, going to be going out of business and, uh, so they had a, uh, discount on the items there in that store. Um, this one is not marked except for on... Actually, he is on the back, on his back. He's marked on his back, not on his foot. So on his back there, it says Thomas Dam. And Thomas Dam would be the creator of the uh, troll dolls. Uh, his um, little pants are made out of like a felt. And um, I think on this one, I saw him online. And uh, he had like a little, uh, a little strap that went around him this way. So that strap is no longer there, but... Um, and like I said, this is uh, probably from the early 60s. So um, not particularly cute, but very, very vintage and cool. So I've held on to him. Set these off of there. And this is another one. Um, he's not marked on his feet either. There's a bunch of writing on his feet. Um, not too sure. Probably from somebody that owned him. But uh, his markings are are also on his back and I can't pull that up but he is same kind of a same kind of a troll just a little bit bigger so this one's about so oh, I would say eight inches tall and this one is about ten inches tall just a little bit a little bit taller not cute at all but well I guess they're kind of cute in a in a strange kind of way but um, uh, the hair after all this time he uh, I saw this one online and he should actually have uh, really, really long hair. So um, you can kind of see in the back here where his, uh, I don't know what you call that, that maybe the leather that that uh, hair sticks onto is kind of pulling away a little bit there. But um, so he's uh, probably from the early 60s. Very cool. Um, this next one, really large one, um, <clears throat> he is... Uh, I don't know what he's supposed to be, like a <laughs> Roman guy, space guy, I'm not too sure. Um, he is also marked on his back, and I'll show you that. Now, he's newer, but he still carries that uh, that dam marking. And I don't have a hang tag for him either, and I wish I did. But um, on his back, it says 1977, made in Denmark, and that's where the uh, original... I believe all the original troll dolls were made. Not for sure on that. Um, anybody that collects troll dolls probably would know a lot more about these than, than I do. I haven't done a lot of research on them. But um, I do know that the older ones um, do have quite a bit of value to them. And they also um, 
had uh, animals that uh, were kind of like uh, made in the image of troll dolls as well. And those carry quite a bit of uh, value. Um, this is the probably the largest one that I have left out of my troll dolls. He is about, oh, I would say 14 inches tall. Maybe not quite 14 inches, maybe uh, 12 inches. <laughs> but uh, he's very cute. Uh, so if anybody out there has a collection of troll dolls and, and knows a little bit more about these, if um, you have uh, any of the uh, original uh, troll dolls um, and know information about it, please leave that in the comments for me. Uh, this last one I obviously got for a Valentine's Day present. And um, <laughs> he's really, really cute. I had a hard time finding out... Um, um, if it was, I think it was Russ that made him, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, on his foot. So this has that Scoops name again on him. They must have, uh, sold quite a bit of the troll dolls. So it's made in, uh, China and Russ was the, uh, uh, manufacturer on those. So, or sold by Russ. So, um, not, uh, not an original, but quickly, quickly, um, becoming vintage for all of these uh, anything that's uh, I think uh, now it's it's almost the 80s now that would make uh, uh, toys and dolls vintage but um, so he's got some little feelers very cute probably my favorite out of all the troll dolls that I have left um, so that's the only marking that he has and uh, don't recall I don't think that he would have come with anything else um, Quite possibly, maybe a heart pillow. I'm not sure. If anybody out there um, knows the date that this one was made, because um, there is no date on him. Um, pretty sure of the other ones, uh, early 60s. This one, at least the mold was made in uh, 77. Um, but it does say Denmark, so I know that that one came from Denmark. Um, and then these two are vintage. And then this one here is... Uh, uh, from Scoops as well, the Norfin Troll, the little clown. So if anybody has um, <clears throat> any information on these that they'd be willing to share, please leave that in the comments for me. So these are a portion of my troll dolls that I have left. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.